Hi, welcome back to Talk of the Town. It's exciting to introduce a new organization ready to make a big splash right here in the Low Country, the Mary Green Men's Corral. Here to talk about their first debut benefit held Friday, February 13th at the First Presbyterian Church, music director Mary Womancy Green. Mary, welcome to the show. Thank you, Sandy. How exciting. Well, so yeah. this is a brand new organization and what inspired you to form a men's course? Well, there is not one on this island. Exactly. I love <laughs> choral work in addition to all the symphonic work I've been uh, blessed to be able to conduct. And I thought, wouldn't this be fun to do a men's chorale? And so um, you have how many men in the chorale? We have 18 in the group. Wow. <coughs> and they come from the island, from Bluffton, from uh, Savannah. And um, these are all auditioned. And we're doing a mixed program, Songs of War and Peace. Which, that sounds like an amazing show. So tell us a little bit about uh, the pieces being performed in that show. Well, we will be accompanied by um, keyboard, of course, and violin and trumpet and percussion. So we're going to open up with uh, a Revolutionary War drum uh, wow. solo and we'll do something from the Revolutionary War. Several things from the Civil War, which people will know, uh, Tenting right. Tonight, the Battle Hymn. Uh, and then we move to the First World War, which of course we are now in the centennial of, of that, and some things that people know over there, and uh, oh, how I hate to get up in the morning, and um, several tunes. And then we'll do a segment of opera, operetta, and Broadway. Very nice. There it is, Soldier's Chorus, and we do Stout Hearted Men from the New Moon by Romberg, and we'll do Bring Him Home, from Les Mis. So there'll be some dramatic pieces as well in, in the Definitely. mix of all this. Uh, yeah. And in addition, we're going to have different men from the ensemble read um, appropriate passages before, right. or in a couple of cases, during music that is happening. Yeah. So it'll oh, be- Oh, it's gonna uh, be marvelous. Yeah. Yeah, really nice. Program. So you served as the music director of the Hilton Head Symphony for 13 seasons and the Kennett Sy Symphony near Philadelphia for 25 years. So in addition, you founded and directed the Hilton Head Symphony course and the Mary Green Singers for many years. So what do you enjoy most? I mean, you have quite, <laughs> quite I just, a display of, of items you've done. It's true. I just feel blessed to been, have been able to do a whole wide thing. I don't want to uh, pigeonhole myself into any one thing. I love to make music. I love to work with people. And so this is uh, this is just one great more fun. fun thing to do. That's right. That's, That's wonderful. Right. So um, how many singers? You said 18 in the in the chorale, and they come from all over. Um, what type of sounds will we hear from these gentlemen? Well, all of the soloists, and there are a number of solos, mm -hmm. come from the men in the group, so that the audience will get a sense not only of what the ensemble sounds like, but also some of the individual singers. And they all have varying uh, talents and amounts of experience, but they come together and they're, they're working very hard, and uh, we have a lot of fun at rehearsals. Yeah. So now that you and your husband are on the island full time, do you have any more specific musical plans? Well, I guess conducted the North Charleston Pops this season, and I oh, think the, uh, fall. just things will probably develop as we get a little more settled here full time. And yeah. we're just so grateful to be here in the milder weather. <laughs> Not <laughs> today, but yes. <laughs> no, no. Compared to up north where we came from, it's I know, it's I know, there. I know. It is much milder than up north. You're right. <laughs> Right. So what should the audience um, at the concert February 13th expect? Well, they should expect a little sing-along. Dick Tyrrell, who is really the motivating uh, force behind the chorus, he came to me and suggested, wouldn't this be great, will lead the audience in a little sing-along and oh, then fun. we perform. And they should just, I just think they should come along with us as we explore these different musical styles and songs that they will know and some that they will not know. But I think they will resonate with this audience. Wonderful. So February 13th, First Presbyterian Church. 7.30. 7.30, and they'll be, the tickets will be at the door. Right, only. That's, only. You, don't, you don't buy them ahead, just come. And if you come a little early for the sing-along, you'll get the best seats. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, thank you so much, and best of luck. How exciting. Thanks, Sandy. And we thank you so much for joining us on today's Talk of the Town.